If you're experiencing pain and numbness in your legs, stop eating these foods. Have you ever experienced numbness in your legs while strolling through your garden, or perhaps even noticed signs of poor blood circulation in your lower limbs? It's a common issue that many people face, yet it often goes overlooked. According to recent statistics, approximately 12% of adults worldwide suffer from poor blood circulation, with numbers rising in certain demographics, such as those over the age of 50. Moreover, studies indicate that nearly 40% of individuals with diabetes experience circulation problems, further highlighting the prevalence of this issue. In our previous video, we delved into some fantastic foods that can enhance circulation, however, amidst the focus on beneficial foods, there are also certain items that can detrimentally impact blood flow, often disregarded by many. If you're experiencing discomfort and numbness in your legs, it may be time to reconsider your dietary choices. In this video, we'll explore some foods you should avoid for better circulation. Stay tuned until the end of the video to ensure you don't miss out on crucial information that could make a significant difference in your well-being. Let's get started. 1. White bread and products made from white flour. White bread and products made from white flour are staples in many diets around the world, particularly in Western cultures like the United States. While these products are often enjoyed for their taste and versatility, they may have some hidden health consequences that are not widely known. One notable issue associated with consuming white bread and flour-based products is their potential to contribute to poor blood circulation, leading to pain and numbness in the legs. This connection may not be immediately obvious, but it stems from the refining process used to produce white flour. During the refining process, the outer layer of the wheat grain, which contains the majority of the fiber and nutrients, is removed, leaving behind primarily the starchy endosperm. As a result, white flour lacks the fiber and essential nutrients found in whole grains. These nutrients, particularly fiber, play a crucial role in supporting cardiovascular health and maintaining proper blood flow throughout the body. Without an adequate intake of fiber and nutrients, individuals who consume white bread and flour-based products may experience issues such as reduced blood flow to the legs, which can manifest as pain and numbness. This is because fiber helps regulate blood sugar levels and cholesterol, which are important factors in maintaining healthy blood vessels and circulation. For example, Consider the nutritional content of one serving, typically one slice, of whole wheat bread compared to white bread. Whole wheat bread typically contains around 3 to 4 grams of fiber per serving, while white bread may contain only 1 gram or less. This significant difference in fiber content highlights how choosing whole grain options over refined white flour products can contribute to better overall health, including improved blood circulation and reduced risk of leg pain and numbness. Moving on to sweet treats like pastries and candy, have you ever wondered if these indulgent delights could be contributing to the pain and numbness in your legs? 2. Sweet treats like pastries and candy Sweet treats like pastries and candy are often indulged in for their delightful taste and comforting sweetness. However, what many may not realize is that the excessive consumption of these sugary delights can have adverse effects on one's health, particularly in relation to blood circulation. The main culprit behind this issue lies in the high levels of refined sugars present in such treats. These sugars, when consumed in excess, can lead to a condition known as peripheral artery disease, PAD. PAD occurs when plaque builds up in the arteries, restricting blood flow to the limbs, particularly the legs. Over time, this reduced blood flow can cause symptoms such as pain and numbness in the legs, especially during physical activity. To understand the impact of this, let's take a specific example. Consider a typical pastry or candy, which often contains a significant amount of refined sugars. For instance, a single serving of a popular pastry might contain around 30 grams of sugar, while a handful of candies could easily exceed 20 grams of sugar. These sugars are rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream, causing spikes in blood glucose levels and putting stress on the body's vascular system. A typical chocolate chip cookie from a popular bakery chain may contain around 20 grams of sugar per serving. 
this amount is equivalent to approximately 5 teaspoons of sugar, exceeding the daily recommended limit for added sugar set by health organizations. The high sugar content in chocolate chip cookies rapidly elevates blood glucose levels upon consumption, triggering insulin spikes and putting strain on the cardiovascular system. Over time, frequent consumption of these sugary treats can contribute to the development of peripheral artery disease, PAD, leading to symptoms like leg pain and numbness. For older adults, where sweet treats are commonly enjoyed as snacks or desserts, this information is particularly crucial. With age, the risk of developing conditions like PAD increases, making it essential to moderate sugar intake to maintain optimal vascular health. Moving on to the topic of soda and carbonated beverages, have you ever wondered how these drinks might be affecting your leg pain and numbness? 3. Soda and Carbonated Beverages While most people associate soda with just being sugary, there's more to it. A significant factor is the high levels of sugar found in these beverages. For instance, a typical 12-ounce can of soda can contain around 39 grams of sugar, which is nearly double the daily recommended limit by the American Heart Association for adult men and women. Excessive sugar consumption can lead to weight gain, diabetes, and even cardiovascular problems, all of which can contribute to poor circulation and the sensation of pain and numbness in the legs. Moreover, carbonated drinks often contain caffeine and phosphoric acid. Caffeine, while providing a temporary energy boost, can constrict blood vessels, potentially reducing blood flow to the legs and exacerbating discomfort. Phosphoric acid, commonly used to add acidity and flavor to sodas, has been linked to decreased bone density and potential interference with calcium absorption, which may indirectly affect circulation health. To illustrate, consider this, a 12-ounce can of soda contains approximately 15 to 30 milligrams of caffeine, depending on the brand and type. This amount of caffeine, when consumed regularly, can lead to increased heart rate and constriction of blood vessels, possibly contributing to decreased circulation and sensations of pain and numbness in the legs over time. Moving on to what could be causing your pain and numbness in the legs, have you considered the potential impact of contaminated red meat and processed meat? 4. Contaminated red meat and processed meat The link between contaminated red meat and processed meat and health issues like pain and numbness in the legs might seem unexpected, but it's rooted in scientific understanding. One of the most intriguing scientific reasons behind this phenomenon lies in the presence of certain compounds found in these meats. Nitrites and nitrates, commonly used as preservatives in processed meats, can lead to the formation of nitrosamines in the body. These compounds have been linked to various health issues, including decreased blood flow and nerve damage. Studies have shown that consuming just 50 grams of processed meat per day, which is roughly equivalent to two slices of bacon, can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease by 42%. Furthermore, high levels of saturated fats and cholesterol in red and processed meats can contribute to the narrowing of blood vessels, a condition known as atherosclerosis. This narrowing restricts blood flow, leading to pain and numbness, especially in the legs where blood circulation may already be compromised due to factors like age or underlying health conditions. To illustrate, consider the nutrition label of a typical processed meat product like bacon. In just a single serving, there can be a significant amount of sodium nitrite, a precursor to nitrosamines, along with unhealthy levels of saturated fat and cholesterol. For example, a 100-gram serving of bacon contains approximately 30 mg of sodium nitrite, which is more than twice the recommended daily limit set by health authorities. Moving on to fried food and fast food, have you ever considered the impact of your diet on the pain and numbness in your legs? 5. Fried food and fast food Trans fats and saturated fats, prevalent in fried and fast foods, have profound physiological impacts on the body. When consumed in excess, these fats can raise levels of LDL, low-density lipoprotein, cholesterol, commonly referred to as bad cholesterol, while lowering levels of HDL, high-density lipoprotein, cholesterol, known as good cholesterol. This imbalance sets the stage for atherosclerosis, 
a condition characterized by the buildup of plaque in the arteries. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that individuals who frequently consumed fried foods had significantly higher levels of LDL cholesterol and lower levels of HDL cholesterol compared to those who consumed them infrequently. Moreover, the researchers observed a dose-response relationship, meaning that the more fried food individuals consumed, the worse their cholesterol profile became. Now, let's look at a specific example regarding the nutritional composition of a fast food meal. A typical cheeseburger combo meal with fries and a soda can contain upwards of 20 grams of saturated fat and trans fat combined, along with approximately 1,000 milligrams of sodium. The American Heart Association recommends limiting daily intake of saturated fat to less than 13 grams and sodium to less than 2,300 milligrams to maintain heart health. Therefore, consuming just one such meal exceeds the recommended daily limits for these nutrients, increasing the risk of cardiovascular issues and poor circulation over time. Moving on to canned foods, have you ever wondered if these convenient options might be contributing to the pain and numbness in your legs? 6. Canned Food Canned food has revolutionized the way we store and consume food, providing convenience and extending shelf life. However, there's a lesser-known scientific reason behind a notable aspect of canned food, the potential for causing poor blood circulation leading to pain and numbness in your legs. The main culprit behind this issue is the presence of bisphenol A, BPA, in the lining of many canned food containers. BPA is a chemical used in the production of plastics and resins, and it's often found in the epoxy resin lining of canned goods. When these cans are exposed to high temperatures during the canning process or when stored for extended periods, BPA can leach into the food inside. Research has shown that BPA can interfere with the body's endocrine system, which regulates hormones and plays a crucial role in maintaining proper blood circulation. Specifically, BPA can disrupt the function of certain hormones involved in blood vessel health, potentially leading to reduced blood flow to the legs. For example, a typical can of canned soup might contain around 20 micrograms of BPA per serving. When consumed regularly over time, this exposure to BPA can accumulate in the body and contribute to circulatory issues. In addition to BPA, canned foods are often high in sodium, which can exacerbate circulatory problems by increasing blood pressure and fluid retention. This combination of factors makes canned food a potential contributor to conditions such as peripheral artery disease, which can manifest as pain and numbness in the legs. Have you noticed any of the foods I just mentioned in the list that you're currently consuming? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below this video. If you found the content I shared helpful, you might want to take a moment to pause and spend 5 seconds to like and share it with your friends. And I believe you might want to subscribe to not miss out on the exciting content to come. This will also give me a huge motivation to spend hours creating more engaging content. Sincerely thank you. In summary, ignoring the warning about the detrimental effects of consuming certain foods when experiencing pain and numbness in your legs can have dire consequences. Failure to heed this advice may exacerbate your condition, leading to further discomfort, decreased mobility, and potentially irreversible damage. It's imperative to prioritize your health and make informed dietary choices to alleviate symptoms and prevent long-term complications. Don't underestimate the significance of nutrition in managing your well-being, as it could mean the difference between regaining vitality or enduring prolonged suffering. Take heed, for the repercussions of neglecting this crucial aspect of your health can be severe and enduring. In the upcoming video, I will share effective strategies to minimize the impact of these foods. While awaiting its release, continue following the videos appearing on the screen, specifically tailored for you.